Hey YouTube, Sack Guy here. Today I'm going to talk about one of my favorite knives. It's the Super Tinker. Now I have two knives here. The one I'll be talking about is the smaller of the two, but I wanted to show you the size comparisons. Now, before I got my mini champ or before they came out with the mini champ that I carry all the time now I used to carry the small super tinkerer which is this knife I picked this up in Saudi in 1990 during Desert Shield and carried it with me um, all through Desert Shield and Desert Storm Now, since I bought it in Saudi, there's a reason that there's nothing on the scales. That's because when I was in so when you're in Saudi, a lot of the Swiss Army knives come with the imprint on there instead of it being inlaid. It's imprinted, and it says, "Let's see, get up here a little bit closer." And try and get away from the glare but you see it's got the shield with a globe in it and a V and it says Victor Knox underneath well that's what was on this knife but it wore off and if you hold it just right to the light you can actually see where it used to be but as I said I picked this up in Saudi Arabia and the only differences between these two knives is this is three and a half inches long and this is three and a quarter inches long so we'll move that out of the way now this what makes it a super tinker is that it has on the back a Phillips head screwdriver now some of the new tinkerers that you'll find that you find now will have a third implement here in the back. This just has the awl and the screwdriver. They'll have a third implement uh, in between these two and it's a hook. And in Europe they use that um, to carry their bags. Uh, a lot of people when they go shopping they carry their own bags and they have string handles so the hook on there is for putting the string in the hook and then if this were the hook you would use your knife to carry your package use it as the handle so that the strings not digging in now there's one thing I don't know if you can see it on this maybe if I hold it up okay that way you might just be able to see it let me get a piece of paper here but in this is a slot bring this down here and you can see that the paper goes in into that slot that's what they call a can key and like on uh, cans, uh, especially in the military, we had where there was a ring around the top of the can and it had a little tab that would come out. You put that tab into this slot that's right here, and then you'd hold the, the uh, start twisting this around, and you could turn it around, going around the can and pull that ring off out and then the lid came off um, now they've gone to uh, pop tops spam a lot of really old spam cans had that ring I think spam was one of the last things that got rid of that uh, that deal uh, they were very sharp once you opened up the lid the lid was very sharp and a lot of people got cut so they finally went to the pull tops uh, the older uh, knives will have that little slot in there. Most uh, all the 
Phillips screwdrivers now have uh, are solid that you get on the newer knives. Now, uh, as I said, it has the awl in the back also with tweezers and the toothpick. Uh, well, I pulled a <laughs> toothpick and the tweezers and the key ring. The blades, you have your small knife blade and your large knife blade. Now the small knife blade is only about an inch and a quarter. Your large blade is an inch and three quarters. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, two and a half inches from the handle to the tip. If you count just the cutting edge, it's two and a quarter inches. The handle itself, as I said before, is three and a quarter inches or 84 millimeters. The overall length is five inches, uh, excuse me, five and three quarter inches, and the width of the uh, knife going this way is five eighths of an inch. The weight of the knife is two ounces. Now you have the, uh, like I said, the the knife. The blade starts out to be about an eighth of an inch thick, and it tapers down to about a sixteenth of an inch, so that it'll fold in. Now, your tinker will have the screwdriver. The super tinkerer will have the Phillips and the scissors. And scissors are about the same length as your um, knife blade. Work very well. Show here. As you can see. And then you have your can opener. The Swiss Army version of their can opener and the screwdriver, the flat tip screwdriver and bottle opener and it's got a small notch in there for uh, they call it a wire stripper I call it the wire bender doesn't really strip wires too well now there's one thing on the, the can opener the Victor Knox style has over the uh, regular Boy Scout type is that your cutting edge is here so you go forward instead of pulling back but it's also got a flat tip there that you can use for a small screwdriver but something that I've found is that it also works on Phillips uh, number two and I believe I've done it on number ones also. But on number two Phillips, it fits in there into the, uh, it's tapered enough that it'll fit down into the slot and turn it. And I find it much easier than the Phillips on the back. Phillips on the back I've used um, when there's a, a bit of torque involved. Can't do a whole lot of torque because the knife will bend, you know. But if you need a little bit more torque than what you can do with that, go with the, the the Phillips on the back also a lot of um, uh, toys and uh, electronics and whatnot will have a hole in the back where the screws down deep and it's normally a Phillips this normally will fit down in there and uh, get those uh, to those toys those screws on those toys now I know some people are going to say because there's no um, cross on it, it's not a real Victor Knox. But if hopefully the camera will focus on this, you can see right there on the hilt or the Risco Rizzo of the blade, it will 
say Victor Knox. And then another thing on the back of the blade, it'll say Officer Swiss. And I don't know if you can see it, but there's also a little cross and a crossbow. That's another way to be able to tell if it's a, a real Victor Knox. It'll have those on there. So that's it. Like I said, uh, I carried this knife uh, and got it in 1990 during Desert Shield. Um, carried it in uh, my flight suit pocket uh, or my fatigue pocket uh, all during Desert Shield and Desert Storm. And um, a lot of people talk about the knives they carried during the war. This is the one I carried during that war. Uh, the one I used the most, I had what they, you know, the big survival knives and whatnot. I was an air crew member. But this is the knife I carried and used the most during the war and since then. Uh, like I said, I used to carry it all the time till the mini champ came out and I started carrying the mini champ because it was a little bit more convenient to carry But I still carry this uh, a, a bit also uh, I have the, this is the only one I've ever found of this size the super um, tinker All the others have been uh, the three and a half inch model I've tried to find another one to uh, so I'd have a backup uh, put retire this one and carry the other one but I have not been able to find another one so it was a one-time find it's the size I really like I prefer the 84 millimeter over the 91 millimeter but that's it for today and remember Always be prepared.